This is Beth Cotless Carmichael with Trumbull County Tourism, and this is truly Trumbull trip ideas for your visiting friends and family. My partner and I were um, avid, I'll say avid, that's a kind word for it, we're avid cigar smokers uh, a long time. You know, oh. I've smoked cigars before, before it was cool, before it was a thing. And um, we talked, as we got older, we talked about maybe starting a cigar lounge at some point. Steve D. Gennaro and Jamie Garua wanted to own a cool place to smoke cigars, and they recognized a need. But there was a problem. They needed a location and couldn't quite get it together with the city of Youngstown. Luckily, they had a good friend that owned Woodland Cellars Winery here in Hubbard. I happen to be from Hubbard. Now, I haven't lived here since I was in high school, but, uh, but I, was, I actually lived in Hubbard growing up. And um, so he invited us. We kind of looked around the neighborhood. We found a house. We're literally adjacent to the winery, which I think there's a lot of simpatico because of that. Mm -hmm. um, we work very well together. We have kind of co-branded events from time to time. And um, we have almost like a little informal entertainment district here. And uh, so it's worked out really well. We're, we're happy to be here. The next step was to clean and redo this building inside and out. They liked how it already had an older look inside and just continued with that kind of feel and ambiance. So each room has kind of a theme. And if you're in the mood to watch sports on TV, there's a great room upstairs with a big screen TV. If you want to be a little bit more quiet, there's two or three other bedrooms where you can kind of camp out with your friends or, or by yourself for that matter. In fact, our members come in and occasionally, uh, they'll come in during the day, get a cigar, go upstairs, boot up their laptop and, you know, work from here. We think it looks kind of historic. Um, and it morphed as we started decorating and building it out uh, because there's bedrooms upstairs. Um, I almost think of it almost like Disneyland. Folks wanting to visit have two options. Anyone can come in and buy a cigar from the store, have a cup of coffee and enjoy it here in the two main rooms. Or you can buy a membership to use the upstairs space and outdoor deck. Plus, you'll get a special personal humidor locker that has a fun little touch. You get a post office box humidor for your cigars. So you have a little space to put, you know, a dozen or I don't think a box would fit, but hmm. you, could, you could fit a dozen or maybe 20 cigars in there. Everywhere you look, you can see an old picture or collectible celebrating Youngstown and some really hard to find pieces like these old chairs from the Trump Taj Mahal Casino in Atlantic City. It all adds up to a fun experience that people really notice. I would say that our selection is what we like to brag about because we, we specialize in boutique cigar brands. So we have Padrones, we have Julius Caesar, we have Romeo and Juliet, we have a lot of the J.C. Newman products, all the cigars that people have heard of, but we also have a lot of newer upstart, they call them boutique brands. Um, so there's a lot of cigars here that you can't get other places. And they're doing it in a place that has embraced them back. Yeah, so so it's a destination. You know, in fact, my partner, um, who didn't know Hubbard as well as I do, um, was a little bit skeptical about putting a place in Hubbard because, we're, you know, we know a lot of people in Youngstown. Some of the council folks come in and shop here and are members. Um, we have an excellent reputation with the with the city fathers. Um, um, excellent reputation with our fellow businesses here in the neighborhood. A great partnership with the area, the business, and the members, just like how Steve was hoping for all along. I walk in and say, I can't believe I, I have this. I, You know, my goal, I didn't do this to get rich quick. I didn't do this to, you know, start an empire or open up three shops a year or anything like that. I did it because I was very passionate about cigars. I wanted to share that passion and I wanted to have a place for myself and my partner and my friends to hang out. So mission accomplished, I've done that. I guess so. Yeah.